Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, challenges and triumphs. It's a constant battle between our inner strengths and weaknesses. While we all aspire to live a life of purpose and resilience, there are habits that often hold us back from reaching our full potential. In this transformative journey, we will explore seven habits that make you weak and learn how to overcome them using the principles of Stoicism. Stoicism, an ancient Greek philosophy founded by Zeno of Sidium in the early 3rd century BC, offers timeless wisdom that can help us navigate the complexities of modern life. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what we can control, to cultivate virtues like wisdom, courage, and self-discipline, and to accept the inevitable challenges of life with grace and resilience. As we delve into these seven habits, remember that self-awareness is the first step towards transformation. By recognizing and acknowledging these habits within ourselves, we can begin the journey of replacing them with stoic principles that will empower us to lead a life of strength, purpose, and inner peace. Habit 1. Procrastination of Time Epictetus said, The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. Procrastination, the act of postponing tasks and responsibilities, is a habit that plagues many of us. It weakens our resolve, hinders our progress, and ultimately robs us of precious time that could be invested in personal growth and meaningful endeavors. The stoic remedy for procrastination lies in the concept of carpe diem, or seizing the day. Stoicism focuses on the present moment and making the most of it. Procrastination often arises from fixating on potential outcomes or the difficulties of a task, rather than simply taking action. Adopt the stoic principle of focusing on the process rather than the outcome. Break free from the chains of procrastination by setting small, manageable goals and consistently working towards them. Embrace the discomfort and uncertainty of the present moment, for it is in these moments of challenge that we grow and develop the strength to face larger tasks. Remember that time is a finite resource, and each day you delay is a day lost forever. Habit 2. Negative Self-Talk Marcus Aurelius said, our life is what our thoughts make it. The way we speak to ourselves has a profound impact on our self-esteem, confidence, and overall well-being. Negative self-talk is a habit that weakens us by eroding our self-belief and preventing us from realizing our true potential. Stoicism teaches us to take control of our thoughts and replace negativity with rationality and self-compassion. Marcus Aurelius one of the most renowned historic philosophers and Roman emperors emphasized the importance of monitoring our inner dialogue. He believed that our perception of the world is shaped by our thoughts, and therefore, we must strive to maintain a positive and rational mindset. To combat negative self-talk, begin by observing your thoughts without judgment. Notice when self-criticism or self-doubt creeps in and challenge these thoughts with rationality. Ask yourself whether these thoughts are based on evidence or are merely products of fear and insecurity. Stoicism encourages us to practice self-compassion, treating ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a friend facing a similar situation. Instead of berating yourself for mistakes or perceived shortcomings, focus on what you can learn from them and how you can improve. As you replace negative self-talk with stoic principles of rationality and self-compassion, you'll discover an inner strength and resilience that will empower you to face life's challenges with confidence and grace. Habit 3. Seeking External Validation Epictetus said, Stop seeking for the things that happen and start seeking for the things that never happen. Seeking external validation is a habit that often leaves us vulnerable to the opinions and judgments of others. It weakens our sense of self and happiness as it places our self-worth in the hands of others. Stoicism teaches us to find our validation from within and to focus on our own character and actions rather than the opinions of others. Epictetus, known for his teachings on self-mastery, emphasized the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. Seeking external validation falls into the realm of what is beyond our control. We cannot control how others perceive or judge us, 
but we can control our own thoughts, actions, and character. To break free from the approval trap, begin by recognizing the futility of seeking validation from external sources. Understand that, no matter how hard you try, you cannot control the opinions of others. Instead, invest your energy in cultivating virtues such as wisdom, integrity, and kindness. Stoicism encourages us to align our actions with our values and principles rather than seeking the approval of others. When you act in accordance with your own moral compass, you'll find a sense of inner validation that is far more meaningful and enduring than external praise. Habit 4. Complaining. The Habit of Helplessness. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Complaining is a habit that weakens us by focusing our attention on the negative aspects of life, fostering a victim mentality, and perpetuating a cycle of helplessness. Stoicism teaches us to shift our perspective and take responsibility for our reactions and attitudes, no matter the circumstances. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, reminds us that our perception of external events is ultimately within our control. It's not the events themselves that cause us stress, but our interpretation of those events. Complaining about external circumstances only reinforces a mindset of powerlessness and discontent. To break free from the habit of complaining, practice gratitude and perspective shifting. Instead of dwelling on what you lack or what's going wrong, Focus on what you have and what's going right. Consider the bigger picture and recognize that challenges and setbacks are opportunities for growth and learning. Stoicism encourages us to accept the inherent unpredictability of life and to develop emotional resilience in the face of adversity. By reframing your perspective and taking responsibility for your reactions, you'll find that complaining no longer has a hold on you and you can face life's challenges with a sense of empowerment. Habit 5. Indulging in Excessive Materialism The Pursuit of Hollow Pleasures True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. The relentless pursuit of material possessions and wealth is a habit that often leaves us feeling empty and unfulfilled. It weakens our sense of contentment and distracts us from the deeper, more meaningful aspects of life. Stoicism teaches us to find happiness in the present moment and to focus on cultivating inner virtues rather than external possessions. Seneca, a prominent Stoic philosopher, emphasized the importance of distinguishing between desires and needs. Excessive materialism arises from the insatiable desire for more and the mistaken belief that possessions will bring lasting happiness. To overcome the habit of excessive materialism, Begin by practicing contentment with what you have. Recognize that the pursuit of material possessions often leads to a cycle of craving and dissatisfaction. Instead, shift your focus to cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, and kindness, which are the true sources of fulfillment. Stoicism also encourages us to practice mindfulness and gratitude, appreciating the simple pleasures of life and finding joy in the present moment. When you detach your happiness from material possessions and external status symbols, you'll discover a profound sense of inner peace and contentment. Habit 6. Avoiding Challenges, the Comfort Zone. Trap. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Avoiding challenges and staying within your comfort zone is a habit that weakens your growth and potential. It prevents you from developing resilience courage, and the ability to adapt to new situations. Stoicism teaches us to embrace discomfort and adversity as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Epictetus believed that personal growth and self-mastery often come from confronting challenges and pushing our boundaries. Avoiding challenges not only limits our potential, but also keeps us from fully experiencing life. Stoicism encourages us to step out of our comfort zone and confront the unknown with courage and determination. To break free from the comfort zone trap, start by identifying the areas of your life where you tend to avoid challenges. Whether it's in your career, relationships, or personal pursuits, acknowledge where you've been playing it safe 
and commit to taking calculated risks. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of practicing virtue in the face of adversity. When you encounter challenges, focus on cultivating virtues such as resilience, patience, and perseverance. Embrace the discomfort of the unknown and trust in your ability to adapt and grow. Habit 7. Dwelling on the Past, the Chain of Regret You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Dwelling on the past, particularly past mistakes and regrets, is a habit that weakens your ability to move forward and find peace in the present. It can lead to feelings of guilt, shame, and stagnation. Stoicism teaches us to accept the past as it is and to focus on what is within our control, the present and the future. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, reminds us that we have power over our minds and thoughts, even if we cannot change the past. Dwelling on past mistakes only perpetuates the cycle of regret and self-blame. Stoicism encourages us to practice self-forgiveness and to use our past experiences as opportunities for learning and growth. To overcome the habit of dwelling on the past, begin by acknowledging and accepting your past mistakes. Understand that making errors is a part of being human and does not define your worth or potential. Practice self-compassion and forgiveness, treating yourself with the same kindness you would offer to a friend. Stoicism also encourages us to focus on the present moment and take meaningful actions toward our future goals and aspirations. When you shift your focus from the past to the present, you'll find a renewed sense of purpose and the strength to create a brighter future. In our journey through the seven habits that make you weak, we have explored the profound wisdom of Stoicism and how its principles can empower us to overcome these habits. Procrastination, negative self-talk, seeking external validation, complaining, excessive materialism, avoiding challenges and dwelling on the past. All of these habits can be transformed by adopting the Stoic mindset. Stoicism teaches us to focus on what is within our control, to cultivate virtues and to embrace life's challenges with courage and resilience. It encourages us to find happiness in the present moment and to let go of the need for external validation and material possessions. It empowers us to step out of our comfort zones and to learn from our past without being chained by regret. As you embark on your journey to transform weakness into strength, remember that change takes time and effort. Be patient with yourself and consistently practice Stoic principles in your daily life. With dedication and perseverance, you can emerge from the grip of these habits and lead a life filled with purpose, resilience, and inner peace. Embrace the teachings of Stoicism. Seize the day. Transform your life with Stoicism.